Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of CXC Geography Made Simple. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm going to be trying to see if I can make it a little bit short. All right, so let's look, let's focus on two areas within your SBA. Let's look at the introduction and the aim of the research project or the aim of the research, right? Okay, so we're talking about the introduction. The introduction is practically a uh, uh, something like a preface not really a preface but it's something that actually share you know preface is actually summary of the entire um, document that you're reading but um, it, it, it's it's uh, an introduction actually gives you a background information as to the reason why the uh, the author the writer the researcher have actually chosen the topic uh, why it interests the, the researcher and what the researcher intends to accomplish now normally you have what you call references at the, the end of your research and normally teachers hardly see um, any evidence of um, literature read throughout the pieces I'm gonna share a secret with you what I normally do with my students is to ask them to define the main terms within the introduction this actually gives them the opportunity to look at literature and to actually use the literature of quotation within the introduction um you know so as to prove that they have actually read something on the topic so in the introduction you're gonna see the for example as stated here how long the researcher have actually been familiar with the area why the researcher um, why the researcher have such interest in this topic and what the researcher actually plans to achieve now some teachers will advise their students that um, the introduction um, you can actually infuse the research aims and objectives I do not like that idea I like it when it is actually fleshed out differently right the introduction yes you can actually outline your aims but this actually allows you to actually write too much so just seeing why you're interested in it it's really two paragraph why you're interested in it um, you know a little background of the area like a rational a little background of the area and the main thing that you intend to achieve um, at the end of this paper that is primarily what your research is going to be try try not to make it more than two paragraph remember you're working with a word limit of roughly about uh, 1200 right if you go over that uh, the person marking your paper um, have the liberty of minusing a maximum of four marks from your document that means you can't get more than 36 out of 40 all right so um that would be your introduction so i'm kind of going good right here i have three minutes and some seconds all right so let's go into your research aims or objectives now your research aims and objective normally CXC requires that you have at least two or three research aims and objectives. These are uh, normally outlining what the real purpose of your paper. Now, for example, um, what I normally ask my students to do is to identify a problem, identify the factors influencing the problem, and also um, propose possible solutions to the problem now in going forward with these three, three principles they it, it is very easy for them to actually um desi design or create their own research objectives or aims for example let's say i am looking at pollution so one of the aim of the uh, research looking at pollution I could say 
at the end of the research, the researcher intends to A. Discover what is pollution B. Discover the types of pollution existing within the, the specific within the research area C. Um, uh, uh, critically assess the, the possible factors that might may have been influencing pollution within the area and suggest possible solutions right so that would be my three aims for my sba project and going forward to my entire piece uh, these areas although seemingly wide will actually be um the main focus of my paper all right so there you have it i said that i will be a little bit shorter than the last time i'm finished uh the next time we meet the next video what i be looking at i be looking at the methodology what it is how it is done and you know the best possible solution in actually writing a very good methodology for geography csec catch you next time peace out